Wrath of Man. So I just watched this movie last night and I'm going to give you a very quick non-spoiler review of this movie. So this movie begins with a very arts film vibe, paying great attention to the colors that you're seeing and the cityscapes, and it gives a great base for what's going to come next throughout the movie. So you're definitely noticing that this is not a cheap film, it's not a low budget indie film, and it looks pretty decent. And they definitely go a different route as far as like action movies go. Like instead of going with the intros, crazy, fast cuts, ch -ch -ch -ch, everything happened real fast. Whereas in this one, they take it really, really slow. Like an art film, long running scenes. Actually what that first scene is like, six minutes, that one scene. And it really shows you what's going on. I'm not going to say what's going on, but it shows you what's going on pretty well. And once you start getting into it, you start to like meet the main character, but you never really know who he is until like way later in the film. Why, why is he in this normal mediocre job? Isn't he supposed to be like the badass film star? Well, you sort of start to learn that later on. And as you're following the main character, you see his interactions with the people he's working with, what's around him. Then all of a sudden, as you're still wondering what in the world we are doing here in this world, it changed the whole format. This turns into a chapter format movie, so then you go to the next chapter. And the next chapter goes into a totally different storyline. And they go back in time and explain why he's in the mood that he's in, why he's doing what he's doing, to an extent. And that part of the movie is supposed to be like where you really get to know the main character, where you start to like feel for his cause and stuff, where you start to empathize with him, but I'll get more into that later. And in that chapter is when you start seeing why, you know, in the first chapter, is what I'll call it, you start seeing him like slowly become like the badass film star that he is, like ever so slightly. And then in the second chapter you see why he's like that. So he was like being a nice guy in the beginning, like a normal guy, da 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 da. And then he sort of like slowly transforms into this other guy, like, I'm about to kick ass type thing. So he transforms, it's pretty cool. And then after that, you're sort of like going into a whole different freaking perspective. All of these different people that you have never seen before, you've never met them, and you don't know why you're watching them. But you spend a little bit of time with them, sort of like learning why they're doing what they're doing. And then all the way at the end of the movie, these two groups come together as one and you see, and you basically see the point of the movie it as a whole all the way at the end so probably like two-thirds into the movie I still wasn't understanding what was going on but it was enough to keep me interested I like sci-fi films I'm not much into like these crime heist type films but I've seen some that I really like and really got me interested and really got my emotions worked up and this one doesn't seem like one of those because it doesn't spend enough time well, it did take some time, it took a lot of time, but it didn't actually get your empathy going for some reason, at least with me. Qual quality film, good directing and stuff. The format's a little weird, but it did like keep me wondering when he would finally like actually start to kick ass. That's the only anticipation that I really had. But if you like a good heist film, you know, I'd say this is not a bad watch, it's cool, it's entertaining. Um, on to the next movie. Thanks for watching.